in this question, it says that we have to find the minimum frequency and the corresponding wavelength of an input light beam which will cause photoelectric effect in sodium material. It's a tricky question. It means we have to find a frequency which will just cause the photoelectric effect and we have to understand the meaning of just causing the effect. The meaning of that is that the input light beam should cause an output of electrons just escaping the metal, need not be flying around, but they have escaped and their kinetic energy is zero, their velocity is zero, but they have come out of the metal surface. This energy is of course called the work function. So we are talking about the work function. The question is a masked question, which is asking us to find out the work function uh, and related to the minimum frequency of the incoming light beam. The photoelectric effect is all about energy, energy in, energy out. So we have to remember that at all times and we will use the Einstein's uh, photoelectric uh, equation where the kinetic energy of the electrons that come out of the metal is equal to the input energy minus the work function. Let's remember that work function is nothing but energy. So we look at this sketch, there is an unknown monochromatic light beam coming, shown by yellow arrows, and there are some electrons on the surface of that block called metal. Those are, the electrons are shown by red spheres, just a representation, and their velocity is zero. Therefore, the kinetic energy is also zero. So on the right hand side, you can see the equation. Kinetic energy corresponding to the work function is zero, and we take in the value of the work function of sodium from a table that's uh, phi equal to 2.3 electron volts. Then we plug it into Einstein's equation. So kinetic energy is equal to H Planck's constant into frequency minus phi. So HF is equal to phi. So HF is equal to 2.3. Then plug in H equal to 4.14 to 10 to the power minus 15 electron volt second. And therefore frequency will be 2.3 divided by the Planck constant and that will work out as 0.555 into 10 to the power 15 hertz. This is the minimum frequency of the incoming light beam which will cause those electrons in this sketch to escape from the metal and just hang around there. The corresponding wavelength of light beam, of course, will be c equal to f lambda, will be found by c equal to f lambda because speed of light won't change. So lambda, the corresponding wavelength of light, will be c by f. So plug in the value of the speed of light, 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. In the denominator, there will be the frequency that we just found. The unit is 1 by second. So second and second will cancel, and you will get meters as the answer. Convert that answer into nanometers. So that will be 540 divided by 10 to the power minus 9, and that is uh, called as 540 nanometers. That's the answer uh, to this uh, question. Once again, thank you for your time, and uh, please do log in into my website, uh, www.physicsmodels.in. Thanks, and have a great day.